Welcome back to the channel. We are working on getting posts into the ground out here on the property. Right now we're struggling a little bit with going back and forth from properties just with the spring weather coming in. Back in October, we were rushing against the hard freeze and now it's March and we're rushing against the big melt or the big snow. We don't really know. It just depends on what it decides to do. Before the baby comes. Go all the way down between the second and third bunk. Got another firewood file. So what we have going on here is we have these like alleyways in between the post holes. It's just wide enough for the tractor to make it through. So we're doing shoveling to find post holes and shoveling snow into the middle between post holes so that Levi can tractor it out. It is snowing a little bit, but the forecast says we're not even supposed to get an inch. So let's hope that stays true. You mother. Gotta keep an eye on me. Someone's gotta do it. When it comes to the snow, there's a lot of it, but there's less than there was. We've got all 12 holes uncovered. It looks real messy, but these are our black tarps. We covered them with in the fall with plywood so that the holes aren't full of snow, aren't full of mud. Got all 12 uncovered. Went really smooth, actually. We were able the ground was thawed enough we were able to use the tractor and scoop up the piles of dirt from the holes which is what would have stopped us from driving in between like down the rows so if that would have been frozen we would have had to hand shovel all of it but instead we shoveled off the top of the holes into the alleyway we were able to scoop it up and haul it out with the tractor and kind of had to shovel it a couple of times because a lot of it would fall back on the holes and we have to shovel it back on but what we thought was going to take a week at least a week we got done in two and a half days in the name of saving money i'm digging out the backhoe tarp <laughs> we have like one corner of all that lumber not tarped we don't want to buy another tarp
God. No joke. Here. All right. Just, okay, just set your side down. She's holy crap. She's heavy. No wonder the baby red was coming off. <laughs> it's so heavy. We are back at the property again today. It is prepping to put posts in the ground for the cabin. We've got to get the posts dug out of the Connex, first of all, and get the concrete mixer, all that stuff. Just a little bit of prep work. We've been getting so much done, but we did take the weekend off and came back to a very thawed out property. We're going to take the swamp home tonight. Levi's mom has Henry, so we'll see how that trail is doing, but the road in is getting somewhat impassable by snow machine. We might be hitting that point where we either have to take the swamp and then when the swamp gets too mushy, we'll probably have to stay home for a week or two, which is unfortunate. Posts are underneath everything because we had this space open to park the snow machine all winter. It's gonna be fun. I know he wants to bring these back, so... Just take them out. Huh, that's weird. I'm gonna let them do their man figuring out of things. And I'm gonna go shovel the rest of that water tank out. I'm more useful working than I am thinking when it comes to these things. Oh, wow, that 
that was easy. Levi put this in for pulling the snow machine in when we would go to town, especially when we had Henry and we were in town for a long time. Keep the snow machine safe and this is a good way to get the skis and stuff up and then not slip on the tracks on the way in. But we're going to get them pulled out so we're not tripping over them and stuff all summer. Let's keep those cleats. Yeah, that was good. They're perfect for it. Yeah. Um, but you're gonna wanna get that so we don't die. What? I'm gonna let these dry out outside. We got a bunch of free stuff from a neighbor, so that's really exciting. We're gonna, we were going to buy a bunch of two by fours for bracing the posts as they go up, but we got a bunch of free two by fours and some nails, and I got some insulation here that we'll be using for the chicken coop, which is awesome. We need all the free stuff. We're contemplating a wood stove from them. It's not really what we want, but we're gonna Google it and see if it would be worthy. But here's my insulation. Just good old chicken coop insulation. There's some of the boards. Brought the generator over. Some trim boards to finish up the outhouse. I'll go over. I need to help the guys shovel now anyway. All that mold. Ah, we can see if that is frozen dirt. Or, that, oh, that's uh, that mold. God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. But did God make mold? Or was that Satan? Uh, this other string, I guess. I think we need uh Hundred foot tape. I didn't bring that magic marker. Hundred foot tape. I don't know about a magic marker. There's a there's some kind of marker on the table in there in the connex. It was really good. We did it unless we hit something with a tractor or whatever. Who you want? Hold you at one foot. Yeah. You can bring me a foot again in the center of the mark. I should be reading 16 feet, right? Yep. Close to it. I mean, perfect. What the? Hmm? How many blades you got in there? <laughs> Probably none. That's heavy duty. <laughs> well, 
what I'm gonna do here is Center line, okay? Okay, those guys are working on squaring everything up. I don't really know what they're doing <laughs> with all the lines. So we can post send. Tomorrow we are going to run to town. We've got to get a couple more things to get the post send. Like we're going to wrap them in plastic is allegedly supposed to help a little bit with frost heave. We might even cut a post in half today. If we get to it, it is getting a little late, but I'm pretty much useless over there. So I am going to start working on peeling some logs. We've been saving them for, we're going to do a woodshed and also my moose fence for the garden. There's no point in spending the money on lumber when we have a ton of spruce uh, trees to knock down. So I'm gonna try my hand at that because they don't really need me over there. And when I don't have Henry, I like to make the best use of my time. We're gonna test the swamp trail and see how sloppy it is before while we don't have Henry. And then tomorrow we are going to town to get all of our flooring material and a few more things to do posts. And then Wednesday we'll be setting posts. And that's crazy exciting. If you told me like a year ago, not even a year ago, if you told me six months ago that we would be setting posts in March, I would have called you a liar. So pretty exciting.
tested out the swamp trail yesterday to see if that would be a good commute back and forth and it is not a good commute back and forth especially with henry it's just so soft now it rained all night so it's even softer there's gravel on the road so i think we're gonna have to park where we don't really want to park and drive from to our property but it's just gonna be what it's gonna be I head home work with what weather we get we didn't move up here for creature comforts so if the weather sucks the weather sucks That was my first time loading a snow machine in the truck. It's in the truck. We went to town. It's melting big time. So we drove here on the snow machine. Now the road's like 80% gravel. So at least for the, the first two miles. And then it's good snow machine after that. So we're gonna try take the snow machine you know, the couple miles to the cabin, put it in the truck on the last two miles to the property and see how that works. Because where the road's plowed, you know, we've got good berms. We should just be able to back up and load and unload in theory. But at least for today, this will get us past the gravel and then we can move if we need to. The thing is, we just don't want to park the snow machine you know, ride out, park the snow machine, get in the truck, and leave the snow machine sitting there all day. It's a little expensive for that in my mind, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to see it all in here, but yeah, I need to start with that. 
So we've got four posts concreted in. It's going really quick. The guys are leveling and bracing a few more posts. I don't know how late we're going to go today, but it's really looking like we'll be done before the weekend, which would be good because the weekend is bringing some snow. are officially setting posts. Henry's feeling a little bit like he needs cuddles today. So I got him back to sleep. I am going to get this truck bed load of scrap wood we got from a neighbor unloaded, I think. excitable. Yeah, I'll get that. That's what I do. 
I'm not gonna be able to get that in there. Just wait all out. Hang on, just dump it in here. We're done, right? Yep. Snap.